Many of you all know that in the last year or two, I've been experiencing a fast heart rate. That's right, palpitations, where my heart's been beating faster than I think it should. Now, you also know I'm doing okay, guys. I've been seeing a cardiologist and getting tested and everything. By the way, all those videos are on Facebook and YouTube if you want to check out the story. But it's reminded me of the importance of being able to check our pulse at home. So I'm going to teach you how to properly check your heart rate or your pulse at home or wherever you're at so you can know what's going on with your body. Guys, I'm Dr. Jen Cottle. I'm a practicing family physician. I'm an on-air health expert and video creator. Let's jump right in, okay? So uh, first of all, I'm going to show you how to check your pulse, not only uh, on your wrist, but also on your neck. We're going to start with the wrist, okay? And what I'm going to do is start by raising up this hand so you can see. Your, your artery where you're going to want to check the pulse is always going to be on the thumb side, okay? So if you can't remember which side you check your pulse on, it's going to be the thumb side, and it's going to be on the side that's on the palmer side, okay? So you're not going to do it on this side. You're going to do it on this side on uh, on the area where the thumb is okay what you're going to do is take two fingers um, uh, on the other hand and you're going to put them right beneath the base of your wrist on the side of the thumb right here okay and you're going to press sort of gently gently slash firmly ah till you feel the pulse what's the pulse going to feel like well it's going to feel like almost like a heartbeat you're going to feel like a little bit of a thumping okay like a pulsing okay and that's what your heart rate is a couple of things when you check your pulse okay i'm doing it this way so you can see but a lot of us when you're checking your pulse you may be doing it this way where you're like checking like this okay so you probably see a lot of people checking their pulse i'm trying to hold it up um checking their pulse like this which is perfectly fine okay whatever position you want but what's important is that you do it on the side of the thumb okay right below the base of the wrist two fingers and also on the side where your palm is not this side do not use your thumb to check your pulse okay because your thumb can actually have a pulse too so you want to just use these two fingers you want to hold it there until you feel the thumping if you can't feel the thumping just move it just slightly till you find the area that little sweet spot be still for a second and then you'll feel the thumping then what you want to do is count how many times it thumps that little beep beep beat the little thumping within 15 seconds. That's right. And once you get that number, you want to multiply it by four. Now you're probably saying, what's all this math for Dr. Jen? Well, the idea is your heart rate is how many times your heart beats within a minute. So every time you feel the thump, that's a heartbeat. If you just do 15 seconds, you can multiply that by four and get the average of what it's going to be in a minute. So, you know, you could also sit there for a minute, hold it for a minute and count how many times it beats in a minute. You could do that too. But a shorter way is just to count how many times you feel the thumping within 15 seconds, multiply that by four, and that is your heart rate, okay? A normal heart rate when we're resting is typically between 60 to 100, but everybody's a little different, so you wanna to talk to your doctor if it's higher or lower, or just to find out what your heart rate should be, okay? Now, the next way I'm gonna show you is underneath the neck. This is the carotid artery, okay? It's our arteries that really sort of provide that thumping pulse that we're looking for. The way you wanna do here, same two fingers, meaning the second and the third or the middle finger, okay? You don't wanna use your thumb here, you wanna use second and third finger. You can do either side, okay? Okay, whatever side's most comfortable for you. I'm right-handed, so I'm using my right side. Okay, this is for those of the, the camera might be backwards. So if it is, you know, it's my right side. Um, what you want to do is you literally want to place your fingers, two fingers right underneath the jawbone, okay, uh, to the side of the neck, uh, but in front of your ear. So you kind of see how that is. Let's see if I can get that. You see how it's in front of the ear, but it's on the side of the neck. It's not in the center. You push it here, right about here, right under the jawbone. Ah, I can feel the pulse. You'll feel a pulsing sensation as well. If you can't feel it initially, you may want to push just a little bit more firmly or let up a little bit or move it around just a smidgen, okay? And the same thing here, what you want to do is count how many times your heart beats, the, you feel the thumping within 15 seconds, and then you multiply it by four to get how many times your heart is beating in a minute. Once again, at rest, 60 to 100 beats per minute is typically normal, it's average, but everyone is different. I always say, make sure you take your pulse to your doctor and say, hey, is this right? Is this correct? Am I doing this right? Is my pulse rate normal? And if you have any concerns about it being too slow or too fast, of course, always, as always, make sure that you talk to your doctor. A um, couple things you can do is once you get your pulse, let's say you've counted how many times uh, you felt the thumping within 15 seconds, you multiplied it by four to get that. You can do it over two to three different occasions to average that number to get sort of a general sense of what's going on. 
on. Um, and remember, when we're active, our heart rate is generally going to go up. So keep that in mind. The 60 to 100 beats per minute is generally when we're at rest. We're not um, like running a marathon or things like that. Okay, so keep that in mind. Guys, this is super important. Hope this is helpful for you and your family. Okay, this is a way for you to keep stock of your health. Remember the thumb side, okay, two fingers. Or if you're doing it this way, let's see here. <laughs> There we go. Some people do it this way is totally fine. Guys, I'm Dr. Jen Cardwell. I'm a practicing family physician. I'm an on-air health expert video creator. I do daily videos. If you have not subscribed to my channel and click the little bell for updates, please do. I do lots of videos like this, so keep it locked here. Let me know what you think in the comments as well. Guys, I'll see you soon.